Hi, I'm Steve for BoatTest.com, and today we're going to be conducting a features inspection of the newest launch from the Beneteau Trawler Series, the Grand Trawler 62. She has a full displacement hull that's designed for an optimum cruise speed of 9 knots that will give her an impressive range of 1,044 nautical miles while still holding back a 10% reserve. That puts her squarely into the passage-making category. Let's put that into perspective for a moment. Chesapeake to Bermuda, certainly all of the Bahamas from anywhere in Florida, cruising the Northwest Inside Passage, even from Spain to France to Italy, all without refueling. With her twin man 730 horsepower engine, she's optimized for long distance, but can still achieve 20 knots if desired. The team at Nauta Design Studio has achieved a balance between spaciousness and privacy while making the entire yacht a welcome place to spend those extended days on board. It begins on the aft deck, accessed from wide stairs to port and starboard from the swim platform, which is, of course, submersible, allowing it to serve as a private beach or tender lift. The cockpit can be left open or choose this L-shaped seating and expandable table to add more functionality to the area. Side fashion plates add to the protection that the extended bridge deck provides, and the glass transom keeps the views uninterrupted, creating what Beneteau calls a terrace to the sea. With a symmetrical layout, wide side decks to port and starboard are protected by high bulwarks topped with stainless rails as well as protection overhead. Fully forward, there's a sun pad with the aft section adjustable into Shea's lounge position. To the sides, there are beverage holders, storage compartments, and pop-up LED lights. The forward section also converts into forward-facing seating, a clever and sure-to-be-popular accommodation. At 31 square meters, the Grand Trawler 62 Flying Bridge is among the largest in class, taking up almost two-thirds of the yacht's overall length. There's U-shaped seating to port that accommodates eight behind an expandable teak table on two fixed pedestals. A wet bar is to starboard, ensuring the guests remain refreshed. It includes a sink, electric grill, refrigeration, and an ice maker. Up one step and ahead of the seating is another seating area, this time L-shaped and opposite the helm, so occupants can enjoy the company of, and the same view as, the captain slash host. All of this is under the protection of the massive hardtop with a retractable sunshade in the center. Further forward, there's a sun pad to starboard and a companionway to the lower helm to port. The upper helm is to starboard and includes three large multifunction screens, controls for both thrusters, the autopilot, throttles and joystick are to starboard. There are dual helm seats with flip bolsters, storage pockets are behind. Inside, the main deck has 340 square feet of floor space that maximizes the efficient use of that space while at the same time provides a distinct separation of the different social zones. Joinery is satin oak with optional white oak decking. Windows are trimmed in dark walnut. The salon has U-shaped seating to port wrapping around a coffee table. Space is maximized with large windows to both sides and high overheads. Across is a sideboard with plenty of open counter space storage, refrigeration, and even a 23-bottle wine chiller. A 50-inch TV is on an electric lift. This layout is standard for the Grand Trawler 62. An alternate layout adds a sofa to the starboard side for opposing seating in the salon. A step up leads us to the dining area with a pedestal table on a sliding mount. L-shaped seating has storage beneath for folding chairs. Tableware stores in a cabinet at the step adjacent to the galley entry. Directly across is the galley that, interestingly, can be closed off. It includes a full-height refrigerator freezer, an electric induction cooktop is right alongside, and we're happy to see a vent fan right above. There's plenty of natural light coming in from the surrounding windows, and Corian counters provide plenty of workspace. There's a dishwasher and plenty of storage both below and above. Additional access is to the port side deck. The lower helm is center-mounted behind an 8-foot, 3-inch, single-piece, forward-slanted windshield. The panel is large enough to house three 16-inch multifunction screens, which interface with the vessel systems. To the starboard side of the lower panel are the throttles and a Ventix joystick. To the left of the throttles is a remote for the forward screens, and we'd like to see that moved back to be more accessible from the seated positions. To the port side are the electrical switches, autopilot, and thruster controls. Grab handles are conveniently located to both sides of the vertically mounted wheel. The helm seats include flip bolsters. A single seat is standard, the second is optional. 
to port is a comfortable sofa seat long enough to be used as a daybed for the off watch in addition to a pleasant place to join the captain during a long passage. Of course, we've already mentioned the easy access to the flybridge just abaft. A side door gives quick and easy access to the starboard side deck. The companionway to the lower deck is just alongside. Let's take a look. There are two layout choices. The standard, shown here, is a three stateroom, three head layout with the master at midships and the berth center mounted. Notice the VIP forward has the berth offset against the port bulkhead to provide more walk around room. The optional layout is a four stateroom, three head, where the master is replaced with two staterooms and the VIP now becomes the master. Of course, both layouts will have crew quarters at the stern that can also serve as additional guest quarters. The master suite is located aft and is full beam. Directly adjacent to the entrance is the ensuite with Corian counters, electric flush toilet, and rainfall shower. Storage is in the nightstands to both sides. Lift the foot of the berth to expose more storage underneath. Still more storage is to the starboard side. To port is a desk slash vanity, along with storage to both sides including hanging storage for something like long dresses cleverly hidden behind the lower cabinetry. A 50-inch TV is mounted to the forward bulkhead. The VIP is forward and with the berth offset to port there's an easy flow to all sides. Again, there's storage both in the form of nightstands as well as in the cabinetry surrounding the stateroom. This time under the berth there's an additional panel that lifts to reveal the electric bow thruster and battery. The ensuite is outfitted much like the master, and remember, in the four stateroom layout, this is the master. As with the other staterooms, this one features satin oak woodwork and ice white contrast paneling. Venetian blinds are all porcelain white, and the deck is covered with an ivory carpet with padded underlay. The guest cabin features two single berths, and a filler panel allows converting into one larger berth. There's a hull side window providing ample natural light, and storage solutions are just ahead. There's also a private entrance to the ensuite, which serves double duty as a day head. The lazarette is accessed from the port side of the swim platform. There's a separate head and shower compartment and a combination washer dryer, and it's by design that these are readily accessible from the swim platform. To starboard is the crew space, and it accommodates two. The engine room is accessed from the lazarette space. Fully forward are the dual fuel tanks at 511 gallons each for a total of 1,022 gallons. Sight gauges are fitted to each as are standard MAN filters and optional Raycor filters. Between the tanks is a quick gyro stabilizer and an Onan generator. The engines are the MAN 730 horsepower and carry a 5-year manufacturer's warranty. The Grand Trawler 62 is a huge leap forward in the Beneteau line of trawlers. She's clearly made for distance cruising and doing so in comfort and style. Even a cursory walkthrough shows how much thought went into the design of each space, each social zone, each cabin. It shows through at the dock and certainly will during long passages underway. And that's my features inspection of the all-new Grand Trawler 62. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.